welcome back to another Thursday Scrap Stuffer. Our stuffer for today is to use shapes and I chose to make a card. Looks like this here with those shapes on the front of it. Isn't that fun? So there's the outside of the card and then we have the inside. Alright, so to get started you need a piece of cardstock. I'm using white. This measures four and a quarter by eleven. Score that at five and a half inches in the center. Go to crease that and the card will open up like a calendar top to bottom. Then we have two pieces of black cardstock. They both measure four by five and a quarter. Two pieces of white cardstock. They are three and three quarter by five. Then we have another piece of black. This is one and a quarter by four. A piece of white that is one inch by four. Now I have all these sizes on my blog. All right, so now to get started, you want to color or make your design. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper. Just grab a ruler and a marker. I'm just using a Cricut marker. This is medium tip black. Any marker you have is fine. And then just go ahead and create or draw some lines. You can do as many as you want. Make them be as big as you'd like. Just kind of play around until you get a shape that you like. Maybe one more over here. And uh, we'll just do one like this. Okay, so it looks like something like that. Then you want to color this in. Now to color that in, there's a few options. I chose to use my Prismacolor pencils. These are kind of pricey. You can get them on Amazon.com, Joann's, Michael's, they all carry them. Or you could use Crayola colored pencils and also Crayola crowns. I have one here. I started using the Prismacolor pencils. This one here is done using Crayola crowns, and this one is done with Crayola pencils. So they're all equally as pretty. So it's your choice on what you want to use. Of course, you can use any kind of marker you like. All right, now to color this, I'm going to take my marker or my pencil. You're also going to want to pick up one of these guys. This is a paper stump, and these are available on Amazon and wherever they sell art supplies, um, art supplies at. And they're rather inexpensive. You usually get like a grouping of three. Then you want to pick up um, odorless mineral spirits. Now, if you watch any videos on YouTube to where people are coloring with the Prismacar pencils, they use a liquid called Gamsol. Gamsol is the same exact thing as odorless mineral spirits, but it's the mineral spirits is readily available at Walmart and a lot less cheaper for a lot more. I store mine in an old spice container, and what I do is I just take a kitchen sponge, I cut it to make a circle, I put it in there, and I fill it with the mineral spirits, maybe a quarter of the way up the sponge. Then when you take this thing and you dip it in there, you'll see hopefully that this changes colors. The front of that gets a lot darker. Hopefully you can see that. I know my lighting is really bad. Letting you know the liquid's on here. Then you take this and you're going to color over your pencils here or the Crayola pencils or the Crayola crowns. Okay? I already have one over here in my green. I'm going to take this green pencil and just color this in. And the nice thing about this technique is that you don't need to worry about the line showing because the, the oil that we're going to put on top of this, or the mineral spirits, is going to blend all the lines in and make it look really finished. And again, if you want to use a certain marker, you can I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see this a bit better. Oh, my big old hand doesn't get in the way. And you can make the marker line, the black marker line, you can make that be any color. You can make it be a wider marker if you like. I just chose the one I had that was nearest. Okay, so just go ahead and color that all the way in. And you can see there are lots of lines are going on, right? All different directions. Here's where the magic comes. Take your paper stump, go ahead and dip it in your mineral spirits or your gam sauce, your choice. You can see here the tip of that got darker. Then you just go over that. See how it makes the coloring a lot more richer? and it blends out all those lines. It's like magic. I love this stuff. And this is a really great way, if you guys are new to coloring, this is a great way to try that out and just to get used to how these work. It really is a fun technique, but you know, you could use your Copic markers, your um, Spectrum Nor markers, watercolor paper, you know, all kinds of things you can do. Okay, so it looks like that when you're done. I'm going to zoom you guys back out. I'm going to close this up. We're done with that. And, you know, just to clean them, let them dry, and I just take a nail file and just sand them down. And it takes the coloring off that. Alright, so we're done with all this stuff. Gonna scooch that away. Alright, now I want to take our, these two pieces here, the smaller black one and the smaller white one. 
the stamps that we're using is by Mamie Made It. It is called Happy. I'm using the word happy and the word birthday. And we're first going to take the word happy and just some black ink. I'm going to ink this up. The dogs think I'm knocking. Sorry about that. I'm going to stamp it on an angle on that white piece. Okay, so it looks like that. Set that aside. Now I want to take the word birthday. And you can see here, I added the word birthday in all these colors. So I'm going to do the same thing here. So I have the word birthday on my block. Take some black ink. I'm just going to stamp it in all different directions. So again, it's almost like you're making your own paper. Love that. You can go off the sides of it a little bit so it's not all the way on there. I'll do this one kind of upside down a little bit. Lastly, we have that purple one. Okay, so we're done with that. And now you want to take your white one and glue that to the black one. I'm using the Art Glitter Glue, which is also at MadeMeMadeIt.com. The fine tip is sold separate, but I do recommend it. It does come with that pin you just see me take out of there. And if you go to Maymay's channel, I will link her channel below and also my blog. She has a whole video about the art glitter glue. It's phenomenal. It's my go-to glue. I would never use another one. All right, so get them lined up how you like them. And I'm going to take this and glue this. Now you can see it's a, t it's a tad bit bigger than my card base, which is I wanted that way, so I'm able to cut it off when I'm done. If I cut it the exact size, odds are to be too short, so I always go a little bit longer to be safe. All right, so put this on there. Determine which way you want the front of the card. The only thing that matters on this one and go ahead and plop that guy down. I'm going to pick it up just to make sure I'm straight looking at it here. This glue does dry clear and quick, so you have a little bit of wiggle room. I got glue on the front of that, that's okay. And now you want to take some scissors, hopefully I have some over here. Flip it over and just cut the extra piece off that side and off that side. Okay, so we're done with this. I'm going to take that aside. Right, let's bring our card base in. So we have our card base here and our piece of black. This is again four and a quarter by five. And all the sizes for this will be on my blog. And I'm going to have the link for that below. All right. So we're based only using two colors of cardstock, black and white. But we have we have a we actually have a really colorful card. Right, so you get that in the center on the front. Straight and centered. If not, go crooked. It's your card. All right, now I take this one. I was first going to pop it up, but I didn't like it popped up. I'd be using a gazillion popped up, so I'm just going to go ahead and just glue it flat down. Okay, so I'm going to put that on the front here. Isn't that pretty? All the colors. Love that. I do have glue on that. I'll take my little adhesive eraser and get that off of there. I'm going to flip it over and just kind of give it a rub. Okay, now we have the inside. And that's where the other black and white come in. Now, this stamp set, I mentioned before, I love her stamps, and I really do. They stamp really well. This one does not have any um, images to it, so I had to kind of dig. So I went to an old Stampin' Up! one called Chalk Talk. Um, it has this little greeting right here. I can't thank you enough with that really awesome little heart. I just literally cut that part off, you can see there. So now I have just the heart. Okay, so I have that here. I'm going to choose this Diamond Press teal purple green color ink and just stamp it on the bottom. I just needed something on the inside and I think the colors doesn't really matchy matchy but I think it's okay. It'll work. Alright, I'm gonna take this and this glue does come in two sizes. It comes in um, the 8 ounce. I think this is what I have here. Yep, the 8 ounce looks like that and also um, the 4 ounce. Alrighty, so we're going to take this one and glue that one. Oops, glue that, put that back down. So this glue is dry as quick. But once you use it, I'm telling you, you'll be addicted to it. Alright, I'm going to flip it over and give that a smear. Grab our card base. I'm going to kind of bend it this way a little bit so it stays down. And then take this one. 
And the white cardstock I'm using is the Georgia Pacific brand from Walmart, and this black is the is also from Walmart, but it, this is called a Nina brand. It's actually a really good cardstock. All right, so we're gonna glue this on the inside. I love the way the black and white pop. And then I'm gonna flip it over that way. All right, so what do you all think of today's stopper? I'm really happy with the way the front of that card looks. I really do like it. Like I said, you know, you could use the Prismacolor pencils. You can also use, for a much cheaper route, um, the Crayola pencils and also the crayon um, the crowns. You would need to do the same thing, the same idea with the metal spirits on top of this. And the lines don't completely go away. I mean, you see there the brown one, uh, but I think I, I still like the look. I mean, either way is fine. This just is a much deeper color versus these ones. But I'll have all the information for all the stuff you'll need and links for it at Walmart or wherever else I can find it. Anyway, guys, that is today's stumper. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.